Sup, my friends, and welcome back to the Dragon's Lair. This is the Taoist Dragon, but you can call me Toasty. And welcome to the most mech amazing school in the universe, Ace Academy. And yeah, last time we were talking with Yuna, our sister was pissed at us, and now Yuna's talking to us again. Yuna walks beside me. How much longer do you think it will be until the repairs are done? I remember correctly. Sorry for scratching my nose. It was itchy. It's still itchy. And I can't help it. It's itchy nose. It takes a whole afternoon. Okay. Okay. <laughs> is something wrong? I don't want to tell her my phone is in there. That might bring up some awkward questions about what's it doing in there. What is it doing in there, Jackhammer? I recall the team's reaction from yesterday, and I'm confident in my decision to avoid the topic. <laughs> I'm just eager to check up on my gear. Nothing weird about that, right? She nods understandingly, a small smile on her lips. When should I come meet the team? Now! How about once the repairs are done? We can meet in front of the hainer, and I'll let you in. Or that. Great, I'll see you then. Yep, it's a not date. <laughs> Yuna slings her bag over her shoulder and heads off. I really should text my team about the repairs now rather than later, but how are you going to do that? You'll have to break into your gear. It should be fine to go collect my phone. Okay, there we go. And here we're going to find out that Nikki actually texted us and we didn't know. Jeez, dude, how can you not have put that together? I mean... I guess I kind of made it so he couldn't put it together, but only partially. I only had one choice that impacted the whole thing. Everything else was him. <laughs> I'm just trying to shuffle the blame off myself. I make my way to the Hainer, but Eagle isn't in his usual dock. Oh no! They must have moved it so they could complete the repairs without a chance of accidentally harming the surrounding gears. That's smart. I circle around the Hainer until I come to an enclosed area in the far corner, well away from the parked gears. As I approach, I hear the whirl of machinery muffled through the heavy doors, which are open ajar. I peek inside and see Eagle and Emerald surrounded by a group of mechanics. I push on the doors, but before I can enter, one of the mechanics jogs over to me. Sorry, only personnel may enter here. Yeah, I need my phone. <laughs> my gear is here. Undergoing repairs right now. Yes, I know, but I need to get something for my gear. You can get it when repairs are complete. No, I can't. <laughs> Actually, I need it now. Why? What is it? It's my phone. <laughs> this is so embarrassing, but I'm going to admit it and be a real man. I mumble out my response. It's my phone. I left it in the cockpit. What? My phone. What is your phone doing in your gear? <laughs> I was charging it. <laughs> the mechanic crosses his arms. Your gear is not a charging station. Shut up! It works just fine. I know. <laughs> he sighs. All right. Which gear is yours? The beautiful one. I point to Eagle. Right here. Mm-hmm. Thank you. He closes the door. A few minutes, he returns with my phone in his hand. Thanks. Is there anything else? No, thanks, bye. I'm embarrassed. Would I be embarrassed in real life? I don't think so. These people can go fuck themselves. <laughs> he nods, then shuts the door. As I walk towards the exit, I unlock my phone and am greeted by 13 messages, all from Nikki, saying, Hey, bro, come pick me up. They're all from Nikki, what did I say? Now that I think about it, I don't remember if I saw her last night. You didn't. You didn't even check up on her. You're a terrible brother. Opening them all, I read them in succession. Hello, my favorite big bro. How about picking me up from Makumis? What? Is that a person's name? I don't know. Probably. Makumis tonight. Did you get my last text? Cooking class is almost over, and I really like to hang out with Makumi. She can give me a ride over, but can you give me a ride home? Smiley face. Question mark. Is that a no? Question mark. I face. Three question marks. If you don't want to get me, then you should have just said so. Wide eyes. Fine, I'll take a bus. Um, are you mad at me? Wide-eyed expression. 
What did I do? Whatever. It is. I'm sorry. Please don't be mad anymore. Dude, why are you ignoring me? Just tell me. Wow, okay. I literally make you all your meals. So you can't even do this one little favor for me. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair, Nikki. Stop being such a jerk. I don't even know what that expression is. It's just question marks. I'm on the bus now, thanks to someone. Guess whose team now has a sponsor and their gears are undergoing repairs. <laughs> oh, the last text was from Yuna this morning before class. Dot, dot, dot. Well, this explains a lot. Yeah, you're a freaking dumbass. <laughs> no wonder Nikki was so moody this morning. I'm sure once I tell her it was a misunderstanding, she'll be fine. I shoot my team a text. Gears are undergoing repairs. Meet me in the hangar in two hours. All right. Now that that's taken care of, I still have a lot of time to kill. I wonder what I should do. Oh, we get to choose who we hang out with. And yeah, we're going to choose to hang out with Mayu because that's the route we're doing. I wonder if Mayu was serious about playing the violin for me. I am actually really curious about how well she plays. I am. I bet she's amazing, though. I dial Mayu's number. She answers the phone. Hi, Mayu! Play for me the violin. That's pretty much what I just said. I'm not repeating myself. Um, um what? Well, I'm ready to listen if you're ready to play. Uh, sorry, but Excuse me. My father is coming to visit again. And I have errands I need to run before he gets here. Okay, let me help you with that. Wasn't her father just here? Well, yeah, but it's great that her father is visiting a lot. I'm just going to say. It's usually a good thing to have the father around more often than not. Oh, he comes to visit often, doesn't he? There's a slight pause, and I'm positive she's nodding. <laughs> it's so awkward, but I would do that on the phone too. He's an alumni of Abe and mm -hmm. has regular business with the dean, so he's here very often. Your father knows the dean? Yes. Whoa, no way. <laughs> Father's military program. Just who is Maya's father? Are we going to find out? He and the dean have been working together to build a bridging program between Ace and the military college. What? That's not Mayu! That was like an entirely different point. Uh, or maybe it just wasn't like through the phone. That was weird. That was scary. <laughs> and your father teaches at the military college? See? What was that? It was like all this other stuff sounds like she's on the phone. And that one line was like, Oh, by the way, I'm like standing right behind you right now. That's pretty impressive. I knew Mayu's father was pretty distinguished based on what I've heard about him. But I had no idea he was this distinguished. No wonder Mayu seems worried or stressed when he comes to visit. I mean, it would be like if Haido Akimi came to visit Haido Akimi? Who the heck is that? Wait a minute. Mayu! Uh? Oh my god, that's her father! <laughs> we figured it out! I don't know who the heck he is, but your last name is Akimi! Um, yeah. The same Akimi as Haideo? I am so butchering this. I am so sorry. Haideo Akimi? <laughs> you mean grandfather? You mean grandfather. There we go. That's why she's so rich. She is the daughter of a rich, important person guy. <laughs> we have a choice there, everybody. And that's where I'm going to leave this episode off. I hope you've enjoyed this bit of the Dragon's Treasure. Pretend a like is a mic and drop it. If you haven't already, I appreciate if you showed that sub and bell button some love. And don't forget, sharing is caring. Stay beautiful!